Welcome everyone, Chicago Bears Fan Show. It's the final one of the week as we lead into the game of Chicago Bears against the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. This game is one that Pittsburgh is going to be desperate to win. They're at home playing an out-of-conference team, but they are 0-2, and they know that they can't get much further behind in their division, uh, especially with the increased play that we're seeing out of Cincinnati. And also, you're going against the Super Bowl champion from last year. It's, it's not an easy division for them to play in, and they know that they can't fall behind too far, so they're going to be hungry to get a win here. Let's talk about some of the keys that I see for the Bears, though, as they go against the Steelers. Uh, first one is, uh, as an offense, Jay Cutler is going to have to be very skilled at recognizing what this defense is up to. Um, you're still talking about extremely talented players on that side of the field. Uh, Ike Taylor, Ryan Clark, obviously Troy Polamalu, um, uh, Lamar Woodley. You know, you're talking about really good Brett Kiesel and still, you know, a lot of great players that, uh, have won a Super Bowl in the past, uh, who have a lot of pride and who appear to still be playing at a very, very high level, even though they've lost the first two games. They're playing that 3-4 defense. Colors talk this week about how they don't see that that often, uh, especially the kind of blitzing, scheming system that they've run. And Dick LeBeau is going to continue to do that, and he's going to try and attack Cutler. You know that he he's watched tape for years of Cutler and, and uh, you know seen him long enough in the league now that he knows if he can get pressure on him, he can start forcing some of those old mistakes of Jay to come out. So uh, this is going to be a real test for both Jay to recognize where the blitz is coming from and know how much time he has to throw and what his options are really quickly to recognize under those West Coast uh, routes, who's going to be open. But also, it's going to be a big, big test for the offensive line. The offensive line, with our two youngsters, Kyle Long and Jordan Mills on the right side of that line, uh, as, long, as well as our new veterans, Bushrod and Slauson on the left side, are going to have a challenge. They'll each have different challenges at different times in the game. And I personally am a bit worried about the speed element of this. Now, I think fortunately uh, for us, the players on Pittsburgh's defensive side of the football who will be blitzing are getting a bit longer in the tooth. Uh, we think of Woodley and Paul Malu especially. They're getting a bit older. They're not spring chickens anymore. So... They won't be as fast as they used to be, but they're still pretty quick. They're still pretty quick getting around the edge. And that, I believe, is uh, the biggest concern is those edge rushers coming uh, with speed. So uh, it's going to be critical that our linemen are aware who's coming and able to react quickly. And especially on the right side, they have quick recognition and do not get caught um, both picking up the same guy and allowing a free runner at Cutler because that will be deadly. Uh, that we've seen that happen already. We saw it happen, I believe, in this Cincinnati game, if I'm not mistaken, where they clearly missed a um, pickup. Uh, that might have been Kyle Long, I think, that missed a pickup uh, um, on, that, on that one. But if that happens this game, it could be a long, long night. Um, and, and, and it is, just to remind you, it is a primetime game. So uh, that is actually one of my keys for the Bears, to be able to step up in primetime. And we haven't seen that from this team. We haven't seen good primetime performances from them in a few years, it feels like. Uh, maybe that's just my perception, but it feels like uh, overall the team, but more so Cutler even, haven't stepped up in these big national nighttime games. So uh, I'm really looking forward to see how, where this team stands right now at this point in the season. It's going to be a good test. Now, you know, a lot of... People look at this game and say, well, Pittsburgh's on two, and they don't look very good. And should be slam dunk. Well, I don't think that's the case. And whenever you put a team on this biggest stage against a wounded duck who's still got tons of talent, especially on the defensive side of the ball, playing in a primetime game, they're going to want to show up show up big. And it's going to be a test for sure. It's not going to be a cakewalk at all. Um, on the offensive, uh, sorry, on the defensive side of the ball for the Bears, it's going to be essential that they get to Ben Roethlisberger on a regular basis and make his life a nightmare. Uh, I believe that it should be something they could be very capable of doing, assuming that Peppers, Wooten, McClellan can start to get come back, get to form, and uh, start making plays, and Melton for that matter, who we've not seen any of those guys really stepping up yet in the pass rush uh, to this point. 
think there should be plenty of opportunity against what is truly an inferior uh, line going against in, in Pittsburgh. They've shown that they're inferior through the first couple of games here. And uh, I think the Bears have a real opportunity to exploit this and get Big Ben on the ground. And that's going to be important because if we give him time, he will find his receivers. Even though he doesn't have Mike Wallace out there, he's still looking to air it out. Um, he's also likely to get a couple of players back this week. He's definitely get one by the sounds of it, and that's Heath Miller. He hasn't had him the first couple of weeks. So if we allow him to uh, have time and, and find Heath Miller, um, Emmanuel Sanders, Andre Brown, he's going to be able to make the plays. These are skilled, skilled receivers. They're not top tier, but they're skilled receivers. And uh, having a healthy Heath Miller back, this isn't going to look like the offense it has the first couple of weeks. Uh, he's going to be more confident and have more options out there to pass to. Uh, on the running side of the ball, football for the Steelers, uh, they may get Le'Veon Bell uh, healthy in this game. It would be his first sniff of regular season NFL action as he's been injured, uh, coming off what sounds like a list frank sprain. But I don't think he's going to have a huge impact either way. Even if he does play, it'll be kind of on a pitch count, if you will. And uh, so far, their run game, i got to say, has looked atrocious. Um, how much that is Isaac Redmond's fault or, or, or Felix Jones' fault, or uh, I don't know, versus the offensive line. It's probably a lot of offensive line uh, because they're just not that good either at run blocking or pass blocking. So in that, in that respect, I don't expect the run game to have a huge impact here, especially since the Bears have done a great job. As I mentioned before, Stephen Paya has just been... Beautiful to watch out there. Really having an impact, uh, wreaking havoc on the inside of lines so far to this point in the season. And I think he'll continue to do that here. So I'm not too worried about their run game having an impact. It's can we get to Roethlisberger and make sure he doesn't take advantage of uh, newly healthy tight end and, and the weapons he does have out there. So that's going to be key to watch. If, if we do, uh, the turnovers are going to come. I feel they're going to come naturally. And we have a real opportunity to take hold of this game early if we can cause them to uh, create those turnovers, even though we're on the road. So, all right, um, that's all I've got for this week. I'm looking forward to see the Bears uh, hopefully go to 3-0, and which would be uh, a wild start for, for the season and very, very encouraging sign. Even though they've been close wins so far, they're all wins. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I think we have a great chance, but they're going to have to be on top of their game and have to step up in prime time. Anyways, enjoy the game Sunday night. And of course, bear down.